Hi everybody, welcome to our channel, Rebecca Stu and the crew. I'm Rebecca and today we're going to make a project inspired by this little new picture that they have out at the Dollar Tree and this is what we're going to make today. Everything comes from the Dollar Tree except for one item. So the supplies you're going to need are three of these signs. They also have them in black and green. You'll need some twine. You'll also need some nautical rope and a lighter to sear those edges. Some floral wire, a little bit of painter's tape or masking tape, a little vase of your choice. You're also going to need some floral foam. And then this is the only thing I got from Walmart. It's the eucalyptus for $2. You'll also need um, a pair of scissors and a hot glue gun and some coordinating ribbon of your choice. You're also going to need a paintbrush and some paint that matches your frame. So let's get crafty. So the first thing we're going to do is take three of these signs here and we're gonna pull this little lion's head off the top of all three of these. It does leave a little black mark, which is why we need the paint. So we're going to take the back off, lifting up those little tabs and then pull all those tabs out of all three of those. And then you can just throw those little tabs away. We're not going to put those back in. So now we're going to line up our edges. It's a little bit difficult. If you have an extra pair of hands, it would be great if someone's there that could help you hold this up while you tape this into place. But just using your painter's tape, you're gonna line up those edges and put a few pieces of tape just on this one side. I did it on the top, the bottom, and the middle just to hold that together so I could get that third side on here. So once I did that, I actually placed a little bit of hot glue at the top and at the bottom of those corners it doesn't matter if it's there, you're not gonna see it. We're actually going to cover that up and then just hold that in place for a few seconds to dry. Now taking our floral wire, we're going to wire these edges together to make sure that they stay. And then we're going to cover that up with some twine. So we're going to tie this floral ribbon around all three corners on the bottom. And then we're also going to fish this around the top on both sides. So you wanna do it a few times just to make sure it's secure. And then you can go ahead and cut off that painter's tape. We don't need that anymore. Now taking our twine, we're going to wrap this about an inch uh, wide at the bottom. So just keep wrapping till you get it about an inch or an inch and a half high, enough to cover that hot glue that we put on earlier. Plus you're gonna tuck the nautical rope behind this. So once you have the first corner done, you're just going to take some hot glue and glue that little edge down of the twine and make sure you do all three of the corners on the bottom with the twine. And then we're going to wrap the top with the twine. So once you get it in a little knot here, you're just gonna fish in and out between, um, alternating between each opening until you get like a little X mark. And it looks a little messy on top, but that's okay. What I decided to do is take a little extra piece of twine and I put a little dot of hot glue on the end and then rolled it up into a little spiral circle and then I covered the top just to give it a little bit more of a finished look here. So once I was done tapping that all around there, I went ahead and put that little extra piece of twine at the top to give it a nice finished edge. So now that that's done, we have those little black marks at the top to contend with. So we're just going to take a little bit of the Apple Barrel brand paint. It took two coats, but it dried quickly. And we're just going to touch up those little spots of the um, frame that has the black spots where we ripped off that little lion head make sure you do all three sides let it dry for a few minutes and then do a second coat so now we're going to take some nautical rope we cut to fit the sides you need three pieces and then we just burn the edges a little bit and some of those loose um, little fringe on the sides to help uh, sear that a little bit it helps to hold those little sides down not have so much fray marks then we use the hot glue to tuck the um nautical ribbon down underneath of that uh, twine that we put up there earlier then just use some hot glue all the way up into the crack there that helps hold the frame together um, a little bit more and then also it just helps give it a little bit more of a decorative edge and I really like the way it looked with the nautical rope I didn't have that on there at first but I thought it looked nicer with the twine on the corners that was helping hold this together so I'm really glad that I had some on hand that I was able to put into this project now taking our small little vase here that I got this from Dollar Tree a few months ago, I'm just going to fill that with some craft foam until it's pretty full and then cut my eucalyptus down. You can use any floral that you want. It doesn't have to be the eucalyptus. It can be from the Dollar Tree and just fill it in pretty full there so that you can't see the floral foam. Now taking some twine, I'm just going to go ahead and glue a little bit 
in four spots here all the way around just to hold that twine in place because of the way this vase is shaped. And then once I have it glued on in four spots all the way around, then I just wrap the twine around the vase here about three or four times just to give it a little bit of thickness around the um, outside of this vase here. And it just kind of helps tie that twine in and the colors into that little triangle display that we made. And it just really helps kind of tie those all together. So once I have that wrapped all the way around, I'm just gonna put a little bit of extra glue to hold that little tab down there and then make a small, simple bow using some um, ribbon of choice. I chose this white and gray buffalo plaid. I just glued that to the center and that's it. You just set that inside your little display and that is the whole thing finished. I am so happy with the way this turned out. When I saw those triangle frames, with those little pictures in it. I just knew there was something cute that I could do with it. So I was really excited to get to make something new. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And here are some other videos from our channel that you might also enjoy. Have a great day.